Hey guys, in this tutorial, we are going to see Katia V5 part modeling workbench sketch based feature. In sketch based feature, we have started for pad tool. So, already we have created this pad in last class, and we can see here this pad is added in the specification tree. The sketch I have selected for this pad it is added under the pad one, and this sketch is hidden. You can show this sketch by right clicking and you can click on the hide or show, it will be again shown on the screen. We can see here the material is added normal to the sketch and inside the sketch. If you want to edit this sketch, uh, directly double click on the sketch and we can go to the sketch environment to edit this. Now, if I create circle here and again circle. So see here, this sketch is a closed loop, it is not intersecting. So if I exit this, you can see the pad is changed. So this pad will have the relationship with the sketch one. If you make any changes in sketch one, automatically it will affect the pad one. We can see the material addition here. The outer sketch will be having positive material addition and after that, and inside sketches, we can see here the material removal. If I again create any sketch inside this it will add material so it will create alternate material addition material removal and at extreme outer scale it will be material addition now i will edit this pad one so for that double click on pad one so pad definition dialog box will be open in pad definition in first limit area we have different options here so by default the dimension option is selected we can drop down this option and we can find the different options here we will see these options in coming class. In dimension type, we have to provide the length of the pad. Now, if you want to provide dimension in second direction, so you can see your sketch is available here. The material is added in this direction of sketch. If you want to create material in other direction, you can use that. You can use more option. And if I provide dimension in the second limit area, increase this, you can see the material is adding in other side if i click on preview you can see this and also we can use this drag handles limit one and limit two to drag the pad you can drag this directly click on preview and if i use this mirror extent option then the second limit will be turn off so it will be equal to the first limit it will create material addition 41 in this side and 41 in this side i am unchecking this checkbox and if I click on reverse direction option, then the limit one and limit two will be interchange. Okay, you can see here the limit two is added this side and limit one is in this side. If I provide negative value here, it will create the material in other side. You can use these options to create the pad. If I click on OK button, the pad will be created. Thank you.